And if you're suffering from gout, your daily supplement intake might actually be the cause of your flare-ups. I'm Dr. Kostrobadi, a board-certified foot and ankle surgeon. Here on this channel, I educate you on foot and ankle conditions and treatments. Today, we're diving into a topic that's getting more attention in the recent years, gout and its connection to nutritional supplements. We know gout is a painful condition that can flare up unexpectedly, and many people wonder if their supplements could be playing a role in that. In this video, we'll break down what gout is, what triggers it, and whether certain vitamins or supplements might be contributing to flare-ups. Understanding gout. Gout is a type of inflammatory arthritis that results from elevated level of uric acid in the blood. When uric acid builds up, it can form these sharp crystals in the joint, leading to sudden and severe pain, often in the big toe joint. This pain is typically accompanied by redness, glossy skin, swelling, warmth, and extreme hypersensitivity in that area. Basically, you're not even able to brush the skin. It becomes very, very painful. While gout is primarily linked to diet, especially foods high in purines like red meat, shellfish, and alcohol, there's growing interest in how nutritional supplements can impact gout. That's why it's so important to understand not just what you eat, but also what supplements you take. Supplements that can trigger gout flare-ups. Niacin, better known as vitamin B3. Niacin is commonly used to help manage cholesterol levels, but it comes with a trade-off if you have gout. Niacin is known to raise uric acid levels, which directly contributes to gout attacks. The reason is that niacin reduces your kidney's ability to remove uric acid from your bloodstream. Over time, this buildup of uric acid can lead to the formation of those painful crystals in your joints. So if you're taking niacin for cholesterol, it's essential to weigh the benefits against the risks if you are prone to gout. Vitamin C. Yes, I did say vitamin C, only in high doses. Vitamin C can be a bit tricky when it comes to gout. On one hand, studies show that moderate doses of vitamin C, around 500 milligram daily, can help lower uric acid levels and even reduce the risk of gout over time. However, taking high doses, and I'm talking about over 1,000 milligram a day, can have the opposite effect. When you exceed this threshold, your body's processing of vitamin C changes, leading it to increase uric acid production in some people. So while vitamin C can be beneficial, more isn't always better. For those with gout, sticking to moderate doses is the safer bet. Creatine. Creatine is a go-to supplement for many athletes and fitness enthusiasts because it boosts muscle performance. However, it can also be problematic for people with gout. Creatine itself doesn't directly increase uric acid, but it can put extra stress on your kidneys, which plays a crucial role in filtering uric acid out of your bloodstream. If your kidneys are overworked, they might not be as effective at managing uric acid levels, increasing the risk of flare-ups. This is particularly important if you're already predisposed to gout or kidney issues. Calcium and vitamin D. They are essential for bone health, but taking excessive amounts can be a hidden problem if you have gout. The recommended daily intake for calcium is around 1,000 milligram for most adults and up to 1,200 milligram for women over 50 and men over 70. The upper limits for calcium is about 2,000 to 2,500 milligram per day. When you exceed that, especially through supplements, it can stress your kidneys 
potentially interfering with their ability to filter out uric acid. This in turn can lead to more frequent gout flare-ups. For vitamin D, the recommended daily intake is generally 600 to 800 IU, depending on the age, with an upper limit of around 4,000 IU per day. Going beyond that can also stress your kidneys, putting you at higher risk if you are managing gout. So it's important to stay within these limits to avoid worsening your symptoms. In summary, while some supplements can support overall health and even help manage gout, others can make things worse. It's all about finding the right balance and making sure you're not inadvertently triggering flare-ups. If you're dealing with gout and are unsure about which supplements to take, I would consult your primary care physician. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And give this video a like. Your support means a lot to us and helps us grow this channel. Until next time, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next video.